An incredible breakthrough to help people with tremors, like those associated with Parkinson's disease. This side-by-side -side video shows a local veteran before the treatment and after. And you can see how much easier it is for him to drink water. HGA Florida Orange Park is now the first hospital in our area to offer this option to patients with tremor predominant Parkinson's disease and essential tremors. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker sat down with a neurosurgeon who explains how this works. Let's see, bring it up and try to drink it. This is Robert Schlutt. He's not nervous to be on camera, but in this video, he had a dominant tremor in his right hand, causing it to shake. Good. Look closely, even his resting hand is shaking. Watch as he holds up both hands. On Thursday, he became the first patient with HCA Florida Orange Park to receive an innovative treatment for his tremors. Can you show me where it uh, originates yeah. from on our brain well, here. Dr. Michael Horowitz from. says it depends on the movement disorder, but he shows us the parts of the brain involved. So it's a relay station. And what has been known for many, for a long time, is that there's a certain nucleus collection of nerves in the thalamus that is responsible for relaying certain information from the cerebellum to the frontal lobes, which then cause movement to happen. Here's Schlag during the treatment. They started with low heat first so the patient can identify sensations and doctors can adjust. Then they gradually increase the heat energy to make a small lesion like the one you see on this brain scan. This is where the brain controls the tremor. You know, I tell people it's sort of like when you go out in the sun, you're not getting burned out there. You know, it's just you feel heat. But if you take a magnifying glass, you can focus the rays down to a point and you can burn a light a piece of paper on fire. Side effects of the treatment include unsteadiness in your feet, headaches, sensory changes to your arms or legs, tingling in your tongue or lips, weakness, and difficulty with speech. The risk of, of a permanent problem happening from the treatment is probably somewhere on the order of less than 10%. If the tremor comes back, they can have it retreated. And this is for all extremities? No, it's just, no, it's, so, right, that's a great question. So right now it's just approved for individuals that have a central tremor involving their upper extremities. Look at you, you can start signing checks again. Schlag instantly saw the change. I've told everybody I know of about this, who has tremors, about this procedure. So I'm gonna definitely spread the word. And you think you're a lot better now? I love it. It is the first treatment that's being offered here that is completely non-invasive. That's awesome. Before. Before. He says this is safer for the patient. And as a surgeon, he's more sure of the results. This is so, so incredible. And Marilyn, when you look at these before and after pictures side by side, back down again. this is incredible. Definitely. And we were just talking, and your family members are experiencing the same thing. Absolutely. And to know that this technology is out there is so comforting. And really the numbers, they bring it in for you. If you look at your screen, there's about 60 million people, according to HCA, across the world who live with essential tremors. And 67% of them have an increased risk risk of depression. So you think about cases like Schlags. This is a person who says one of his hobbies is woodworking and he's thrilled that right now he can get back to it. So we heard the neurosurgeon say this is being done on the right patient. It can actually be life changing. So it kind of sounds like there are some you know, some things that you have to meet, some recommendations that people have to meet first. Absolutely, so this would be for someone willing to have a permanent procedure done. If you have an implant already in your brain, you may not be eligible, among other things, but the good news is, if you head over to newsforjacks.com, there is a link on our website, and you can take a quiz to see if you're a candidate for this care. All right, Marilyn Parker, thanks so much. No problem.